So, Mark, let's start over in Taiwan, sure. if we could, uh, because it's controversial. The Chinese said there's going to be consequences. It looks like those consequences are coming right quick uh, with missile firings uh, in the East China Sea and now supposedly military yeah. operations surrounding Taiwan. Is that something out of the ordinary for them? Well, it really is. Uh, I think they're trying to make more of an issue of this than they know it is. Uh, this is not the first time a Speaker of the House has visited China. Newt Gingrich did it some time back. We routinely have congressional delegations go over to Taiwan. Uh, so uh, if the Chinese government is trying to make an issue out of this, as Jake Sullivan said, it's on them. At the same time, uh, give us a sense of what the military capability of the Chinese government is. It was 25 years ago when Newt Gingrich, the Speaker of the House, went over there last time a speaker went. But the military situation from China's point of view was quite different, was it not? Well, it certainly is, but I think we would also say the same thing about Russia 25 years ago and, and their performance in Ukraine. Uh, so if Taiwan uh, is an, is being eyeballed by the Chinese, I think they're taking strong lessons for how poorly the Russians have performed against a motivated defender. And China also recognizes to get there, they have to get across uh, the South China Sea. So it'll be tough for them. And uh, I think they're trying to get some political and geopolitical political advantage out of this, but not a military advantage. You've been around Washington as well as battlefields for your career. Is this going to almost inevitably mean What's we're going to spend more? What's the difference? A different kind of battlefield, right. Uh, does this mean almost yeah, inevitably exactly. we're going to spend more on defense? Uh, well, we've already got a large increase in defense already. Uh, people will say a lot of money has to go into the replenishment of the supplies we provided the Ukrainians. Uh, but candidly, that's come out of what we call uh, drawdown stocks, old inventory that we had already dedicated to, the f to this type of fight. So it will have to inevitably uh, cause a ripple effect, both of Ukraine and China, of an increased defense uh, spending. I just hope that we use it to buy smarter, uh, more advanced weapons uh, rather than just more stuff.